Jeeva Korja, I was false. So false old clear. Hello everybody and welcome to our very first virtual open evening for St. Brendan's College. Our school is a co-educational, multi-denominational post-primary school situated on the outskirts of Belmullet Town in County Mayo. Our school is a Jesh school under the patronage of Mayo Sligo Leitrim Education and Training Board and we are supported by a Board of Management, Parents Association and Student Council. At all times in our school we aim to ensure there is a positive and caring environment in our school underpinned by our core values of respect and inclusivity for everybody. Our school is a modern building on a nine acre site. The main school building which consists of general classrooms with the most up-to-date technology and equipment in all classrooms. Science laboratories, engineering rooms, woodwork and technical graphics room, home economics room, art room and music room and designated ICT computer rooms. Our state-of-the-art sports building and fully equipped gymnasium, which includes our school canteen, is located at the front of our school. Our outdoor facilities include Gaelic pitches and basketball courts, with plans for an all-new weather pitch also at a design stage. Hot school lunches are provided daily to all students, with tea and coffee facilities also available to all students. Our teachers are experts in their subject area and are dedicated to their students. They provide a holistic approach to education, allowing our students to learn in a friendly, relaxed and supportive environment. We pay attention to the physical, the personal, the social and the emotional well-being of all of our students, as well as the academic aspects of their learning. We are fortunate in our school to offer support networks to our students, which include our pastoral care, scheme which has our year heads and class tutors whilst also we offer a homeschool liaison officer Miss Margaret Heffern and our project worker Roisin Heveney. Both of these non-teaching staff members focus on supporting students in their pastoral development and general well-being. Our first clip of the evening also includes a member of our student council Peter Walsh who speaks about the crucial role that the Student Council plays in the running of our school. Hello everybody, my name is Margaret Heffern and I'm the Homeschool Community Liaison Coordinator here in St Brendan's College. My role is to support parents in ensuring their child has a positive experience while here in St Brendan's and that every child reaches their full potential. The transition from primary to secondary school can be a daunting experience for some families and I hope that I will be able to ease that transfer for you by supporting you by, through liaising with you the parents and your teachers, also with the services that are available in our school as well as in the wider community. My aim is to get to know all first year parents and develop a good working relationship with you through phone calls, home visits, activities in the school like information evenings, coffee mornings, uh, courses for parents. I work closely with Roisin, our school completion coordinator, and she works directly with the students in supporting them in their struggles and challenges. I look forward to meeting you all and working with you throughout the year. Take care. Thank you. Hi, my name is Roisin Heavey and I'm the project worker for the school completion program here in St. Brendan's College. An important part of my role is to support young people and I do this by individual support or working in a group with young people. One of the groups I run is an after school homework club for first and second year students which is a great support and a great way for young people to socialise. I work alongside Margaret Heffernan, the HSCL in the school and she supports the parents and families while I support the students. Another important part of my role is to help students transition from primary to secondary school. Every summer we run a summer camp and in that summer camp there's lots of activities from table tennis to circus skills and sport. This offers students a great opportunity to meet each other and get to know the school. When the students are settled back in September I'll meet them on a weekly basis and we will run what is called the Big Brother Big Sister programme. 
In this programme, the transition year students are matched with the first year students and each week they meet and do various activities and lots of fun games. This is a really important and fun part of the first year experience. Uh, my name is Peter Walsh. I'm a fifth year student here at St. Bernard's College, Bon Wallet. Um, I was asked today really briefly just to talk about the student council and as a member, the role that the student council has within the school and the benefits that I felt myself. So back in first year, obviously we had our student council elections and through that, you basically get to vote for who you think would best represent your year at the student council meetings. So lucky enough, myself and Grace Veronica of my year were elected and made members of the student council and are still members today. Now, in my opinion, the main role of the student council is to bridge the gap between us as students and them as teachers or staff. Any major decision that affects our school life is filtered through the student council and we as members get to represent your views and give our input on it. And we hold meetings every few weeks where we get to discuss any initiatives or issues within the school that we feel that can be improved or in some way solved. Through the Student Council I was able to go to the Cordon and Oak AGM where I got to be elected onto the Mayo Youth Council and I spent two years on that and I found that really, really insightful because I got to go to meetings in Castle Bear and have some great experiences with young people from all across Mayo from all different walks of life. So through the Student Council it does open you up to different opportunities for, to explore other things outside of the school curriculum. So uh, one thing that Mr. Walsh and our Vice Principal, Mr. Tracy, has always tried to instill into us is that our involvement as a student body in decision making within the school and that any way that you feel, any opinion that you have can be voiced through the student council and can really make a difference in how basically the school is run. And I think that in conclusion is the important thing about the student council. It involves us as students in the running of the school in general. And I think without the Student Council, we wouldn't be nearly as successful a school community as we are today. Thanks very much to Peter, Roisin and Margaret for taking the time to speak to us this evening. Our school has for many years operated a highly cost-effective school book scheme. This school book scheme is coordinated by our Deputy Principal, Mr. Tracy. In our next clip, Mr. Tracy speaks around the book scheme and how it operates and also about the Student Council. The clip also features our Special Educational Needs Coordinator, Ms. Anna Dunhill. In St. Brendan's College, we have a Special Educational Needs Department with dedicated office and classrooms, one-to-one -one room and parent meeting room. Ms. Dunhill works with all staff, including our Special Needs Assistants, to ensure that all students reach their individual potential. Good evening everybody, my name is Howard Tracy, I'm the Deputy Principal of St. Brendan's College in Belmont. You're all very welcome to our virtual open evening. I hope over the course of this presentation you find out a little bit more about our school. I'd like to speak to you about our student council and our school book scheme. Our council is made up of 12 students, two students from each year. We meet regularly to discuss day-to-day -day issues in the school and to share ideas with each other. We in St. Brendan's College believe in the importance of the Student Council. It gives you a voice in the school. I'd just like to mention our school book scheme as well. We charge 60 euro per year. This covers the cost of all books you will receive during that year. The scheme is set up in such a way that you have a set of books at home and you also have a book in school. This is so that you won't have to be carrying heavy bags to and from the school. We in St. Brendan's College know that this is a very important time in your lives. You're deciding which school you should go to. So you should talk to your family, talk to your brothers, talk to your sisters, talk to your friends, chat to people who come to our school and ask them what it's like to be a student in St. Brendan's College. We'd love you to come to our school. We know that if you come to St. Brendan's College, you will feel happy and you will feel safe. Remember, the decision in the end is yours. And whatever decision you do make, we wish you the very best of luck with that. 
And remember also, in these times, to keep safe. Look after yourselves. Look after your families. Thank you very much. Hello and welcome to Learning Support. My name is Anna Dunlew and I am the Special Education Needs Coordinator. The SE department here at St. Bernard's College comprises of highly qualified resource teachers, learning support teachers and special needs assistants. The aim of the department is to ensure access for all SEN students to a broad, balanced and relevant curriculum which offers development and progression in learning experience, thus getting the best out of their education. Inherent to this is an understanding that individual needs or learning differences should not prevent a student from flourishing in St. Brennan's College. In our school, we work in small groups, one-to-ones and team teaching. We work in areas that include literacy, numeracy, social and personal development, life skills, well-being programs, coping skills and behavioural programs. The transition from primary to secondary school can be a challenge for students and to facilitate their transfer, an induction day for first year students is held at the start of the year. All students will be offered the opportunity to take part in our summer camp, which is great for students to get to know each other. Supports available in our school include HSCL, SCP, Guidance Counselor, Big Brother Big Sister Programme, Level 2 and Level 3 programmes, JCSP and Homer Club. We are here to support and guide your child for the duration of their stay in St. Brendan's College, so please don't hesitate to contact us as soon as possible, as we can meet you and your child in order to put the best supports in place and to ensure that the transition is as smooth as possible. Thank you. Thank you very much to Ms Dunahoo and to Mr Tracy for taking the time out to record those clips for us. At St Brennan's College we offer a wide and rich curriculum. We pride ourselves on the range of subjects and extracurricular activities available in our school. There is something for every child in St Brennan's College. Our extracurricular programme includes Gaelic football, soccer, basketball, golf, athletics, public speaking and debate, peer for peer programme, School Business Partnership, Young Enterprise Programme, Outdoor Pursuits, School Tours, and that is just to name a few. Our Director of Sports, Mr O'Reilly, has recorded the following clip just to give a snapshot of some of the sporting activities available in our school, whilst fifth-year student Emer Munley speaks about her experiences of transition year, and sixth-year student Chloe Winters speaks of involvement on the Green Schools Committee and their successes in achieving our Green School Flags. I was a TUI student from 2019 to 2020. Even though our year was cut short, it was still the best year in school I've had so far and I'm definitely a better person for it. Our transition year programme is designed to provide our students with the opportunity to discover their own talents, aptitudes and abilities, grow maturity whilst developing skills and competencies within a well-defined academic structure. Since TY was first introduced in 2006 in our school, it has grown significantly and we currently have three classes. Through their engagement with the many extracurricular opportunities offered by the programme, students develop many new and existing skills. Uh, we strive to find the balance between the continuation of essential core subjects while sampling other subjects and a variety of courses and workshops designed to broaden a student's horizons. It's a great year to try and push yourself out of your comfort zone. Like, I'm not a great fan of water sports or heights, but I love surfing and abseiling in Delphi. You take part in a lot of group work, whether it's in enterprise, workshops or trips. Things like going to Delphi really bring your year together and you get to talk to people you would have never really spoken with before. And you'll find coming into fifth year, everyone is a lot closer. Okay, as far as to why you get, uh, you have to complete two sets of work experience. We got to complete one and I was fortunate enough to get to work in a place with lovely staff, got experience in a work environment and really feel I've matured because of it. There are many excursions, trips, workshops and events that have become an integral part of the school year. Our annual Strictly Come Dancing, Christmas Variety Concert, School Musical, Overnight Trip to Delphi are just some of the highlights our TYs get to have each year. 
We get great support and encouragement of our teachers for the Christmas concert and we all got to act and play with our friends and got to showcase the talents our year had to offer. Our biggest event and my personal favourite is the musical. Each year two wives do one, ours has been Sister Act. I was lucky enough to get a lead role and loved every second. From practicing with my friends to actually performing, it was so enjoyable and boosted my confidence so much. The experience of living with COVID has proven challenging for so many aspects of all our lives. Uh, significant adaptations have been made to this year's programme, so we're in line with public health guidelines. Despite the obvious challenges, we are pleased that we are able to continue providing a rewarding experience for our students this year. In just a few short weeks in September, our TY students have had numerous day trips and workshops, including a trip to Delphi, a fully certified first aid and manual handling course, greenway cycle, tennis splits and drumming workshop. Hello, uh, my name is Declan O'Reilly and I'm the sports coordinator for St Brendan's College. I'd just like to tell you a few things about the teams that we that represent the school for us in different codes. Um, our school teams are consist of the following. In Gaelic football we have four boys team, a first year, juvenile, junior and senior. And in the girls we have a first year, a junior and a senior team as well. Uh, all of these teams play in the Mayo Post Primary School competitions as well as the Connacht League and Championships and we've had a lot of success over the years winning multiple county and Connacht titles. In soccer for the boys we have four teams also. We have a first year, we have an under 15, under 17 and under 19 and for the girls we have a first year, an under 15 and under 19. Again, we, we play, we've had a lot of competitions uh, played over the years in this. We've had a lot of success. Uh, we play generally in the SFAI Connacht competitions. We've won numerous uh, Connacht titles and in the girls we won the All-Ireland under 19 um, title in 2013. In basketball, we are starting with the girls again. We had it a few years ago. Last year, we had a girls team at junior level. We played in regional blitzes. And in the boys, we have a first year and second year team. And we also have an under 16 and under 19 teams. And that we play in Basketball Ireland competitions in the Northwest region. Uh, again, we've had great success in the basketball over the years, winning Northwest regional titles at both under 16 and at senior, and culminating in our All-Ireland title win in 2019, when we won the All-Ireland League. Um, so they're the teams, there's about 19 teams in total, we, we have a lot of volunteer teachers that give up their time um, and when the pandemic is over we hope to get back to incorporating all these teams into our schools programme for next year. Looking forward to seeing you in person in the near future. Thank you, bye. My name is Chloe Winters, I'm a sixth year student here in St Bernard's College and I'm on the Green Schools Committee. The beautiful Eris landscape is recognised both nationally and internationally. St. Brennan's College, Belmullet, is situated in the heart of the beautiful barony of Eros. We here at St. Brennan's College care deeply and passionately about the environment. We've achieved three green flags to our participation in the Green Schools programme. Our first green flag dealt with litter, waste management and recycling. Our second green flag focused on energy conservation both in school and in our homes. Our third and most recent green flag focused on water conservation and usage, also at school and at home. The process is known as PDCA cycle. Plan, do, check and act. It's amazing to be a part of this process. Getting involved with like-minded people has been both rewarding and fun. It is student-driven with an active committee. Students want their friends involved and they drive the message home to save water, conserve water and also recycle. We look forward to welcoming new members to the St. Brendan's College Green Schools community. We'd love to have you on board as we seek to gain our fourth green flag. Thank you very much to Chloe, Emer, and Mr. O'Reilly for those clips. New subjects and subject choice are all part of the exciting transition from primary to secondary school. In St. Brendan's College, we are pleased to announce that all incoming first years in September will have the opportunity to take part in taster courses in all optional subjects. This will mean that all students in their first six weeks of first year will take part in all optional subjects before deciding which subjects they would like to study for their junior cycle. Our enrolment form contains subject option choices, but it's important for me to state that I use those only as a guide 
to me for creating a school timetable. All students will have the opportunity at the end of the six weeks to choose which subjects they would like to study and their timetable will be generated around their choice. Our highly experienced career guidance counsellor, Ms Padden, has prepared the following PowerPoint presentation outlining the many subjects available to all incoming first year students in St Brendan's College. St Brendan's College has a long and proud tradition in second level education. We have an excellent team of highly qualified and experienced teachers who are committed to success, raising expectations, providing opportunities and striving to meet the needs of all our students in a caring and supportive setting. Besides providing a strong academic and creative environment, our school offers dynamic extracurricular pursuits in sports and cultural activities. We also offer the Junior Cycle Programme, which builds on the foundations of primary education. Here at St Brendan's, you have the opportunity to achieve a high level of competence in a wide range of subjects, which will enable you to proceed successfully to Senior Cycle. Our school also offers the Junior Certificate Schools Programme, which provides a curricular framework that helps to make the junior cycle more accessible. Let's first look at our course subjects. They include Irish, English, Maths, Science, History and French. With regard to Irish, at our school, students have the autonomy to study certain subjects through the medium of Irish. This will enable students to gain bonus marks in their Leave Own Certificate examinations. Also, those with formal exemptions in Irish may take the opportunity to work with our exceptional learning support team. You may have noted that science is a core junior cycle subject at our school and question why this is so. Science and its applications are fundamental to the way in which we live our lives today. Science education at our school seeks to equip young people to live in a world that is increasingly scientifically and technologically orientated. Indeed, the goal of scientific literacy for all has become a primary objective at St. Brendan's College. Furthermore, the science subject is a requirement for 208 third level college courses. Again, you may ask why we include French as a core subject at junior cycle level. We at St. Brendan's College also place an important emphasis on the learning of French. Junior Cycle French is one of the most popular languages chosen nationally at junior cycle level and challenges students' oral and written comprehension skills as well as writing competencies. What's more, 181 courses require a third language as an entry requirement at third level. Next we will look at our choice subjects. First year students choose three of these subjects. As you can see, there are a wide variety of subjects to choose from. These include Art, Business Studies, Geography, Home Economics, Engineering, previously known as Metalwork, Music, Technical Graphics and Wood Technology, previously known as Woodwork. St. Brendan's College plays a vital role in the promotion of well-being through a range of activities and approaches to support the academic, physical, mental, emotional, social and spiritual development of all of our students. Our education system is key to equipping our students with the knowledge, skills and competencies to deal with the challenges that impact on their well-being. This is achieved through the following subjects. 
CSPE, SPHE, Computer Studies, PE, Religious Studies, this is a fact based and not taught from any religious perspective, and finally Pastoral Care Class. When choosing subjects, what factors should be considered? Number one is flexibility. The first factor to be taken into consideration is what optional subjects can be changed. You should give serious consideration to what subjects you wish to study. But we also understand that in September, you may find a subject is not what you thought, and there will be flexibility to change for the first five to six weeks. Number two, interests. Do I like? If you like something, you're more likely to work at it and enjoy it. Therefore, choose the subjects you like or think you will like. There's no point in choosing a subject because you believe it will get you a job, because you believe it's easy. Similarly, there's no point avoiding a subject just because you've heard somewhere that it will be difficult. Remember, what one person considers easy another person considers difficult and vice versa. Number three, be open to new subjects. Don't be afraid to try a new subject if you feel you would like it. Just because you've never done it doesn't mean you won't like it. In fact, you may love it and be very good at it. Number four is aptitude and ability. What am I good at? Look at what you're good at. Are you interested in reading? Do you enjoy writing? Do you like working with wood? Are you familiar with metalwork already? Are you musical? Do you enjoy sewing, cooking, etc? Do you like learning languages? Do languages come easy to you? Are you good at art? Are you artistically minded? Ask yourself, what am I good at? And finally, number five, future career. It's very difficult to decide what career a person would like at 12 or 13 years of age. However, 12 or 13 year olds know what they don't like. No one wants to end up working in a job, doing something they don't like. Once you know what you don't like, the key is to keep your options open. In the next section, we're going to look at some frequently asked questions. The first one being, if I don't like a subject in September, can I change? Yes, but we suggest that you change within the fi first five to six weeks. This has given you a chance to experience one subject while at the same time not missing too much from another. If I didn't do a subject to junior cycle, can I take it off to senior cycle? In the case of a lot of subjects, the answer is yes. You may be a little behind compared to some of the other students, but with a little extra effort by an interested student, the subject is very achievable. In the case of other subjects, the answer is less clear cut. It very much depends on the student's personal skills. For example, someone with a flair for a prior knowledge of art, music, metalwork or woodwork, and who didn't choose the subject in junior cycle, may be comfortably able to take it on to the leading search. In the case of a third language, it would be very difficult to pick up French in leaving certificate, never having studied it before. What support services do we have on offer for our students at St. Brendan's College? Our students have access to a wide range of services including tutor and year head system, academic tracking, guidance and counselling, pastoral care team, homeschool community liaison officer, learning support and resource teaching, anti-bullying program, big brother big sister mentoring program, friends first program, student council, mentoring, after school study, access to special needs assistance, and SCP project worker.
Next, let's look at guidance and counselling. Guidance is regarded as a core element of our school's overall educational programme. The guidance programme seeks to respond to the needs of the student at all stages in their education. The objectives of the guidance programme are not only framed by reference to the legislative requirements, but are also referenced by the good practices evident in our school. The guidance department endeavours to support all our students in their journey through secondary education. In pursuit of academic excellence, we never lose sight of the individuality of each student in our care. Lastly, I would like to share with you my role as the guidance counsellor. My role involves counselling, providing information, educational guidance, career guidance, individual appointments and providing for the personal, educational and social development of all our students. Our academic performance is excellent, with the majority of students entering third level education annually. Our level of care and support for students is unparalleled. Students of St. Brinton's College thrive because they are supported, encouraged, cared for and feel a real sense of belonging. Thank you for listening and I look forward to meeting you in St. Brendan's College. Thank you very much to Ms. Padden for taking the time out to record that very informative clip. Core subjects, as Ms. Padden mentioned, are those that everyone studies. It is important for us to mention that St. Brendan's College has, the high, has a very, very large selection of subjects available to all students. We pride ourselves on the subject choice of our school. It is second to none. We pride ourselves on the fact that the timetable for individual students is created around the student's own choice. The following clip outlines some experiences of some of our students and some of the the core subjects that they study. It's Misha Anya August Jane and Makaj Matha Trivan Nigelga. We may a skill is skill near Vrendon or an Akli. On four and you may Matha Trigelga no. Rinny may a Trigelga Sabun skill August Magala Shin, we may a Giri Lan and Schlesh. Being or wrong in a Matha Spree were August Genevok. Julie uh, was Misha Christo August Tom Sakid Vlin e Klosh to Brendan on Nefa. Um Drast on me er skun the shunt cartla. Round Rowney me Mamata Jin of Tri Gilga Mar Togrog and Dongilga. Hi, my name is Neil Riley. I'm a PE in science teacher here in St. Brendan's College. Our goal in PE is to show our students how important it is to keep fit for the health of their body and minds. To this, we expose our students to as wide a range of sporting activities as possible. Thanks to a lot of hard work from school management and the PE department, we have the best equipped PE hall in all of Mayo. We have a fully equipped cardiovascular room with bikes, treadmills, rowing machines and cross trainers. 
We have a well-stocked weights room and a brand new circuit training room. In our PE program, we change activity every six weeks to keep our students engaged. In relation to games, all students do Gaelic games, rugby, soccer, basketball, volleyball, indoor tennis, hockey and badminton. They do six weeks of gymnastics every year they're in school. They also learn how to do athletic events such as the javelin, shot put, discus, sprinting, distance running as well as long jump and high jump. And in transition year we do hill walking, camping, surfing as well as dance which culminates in a Strictly Come Dancing competition annually. Hello everybody, my name is Patrick Conroy and today I'll be talking about ICT in St. Brendan's College. Uh, at St. Brendan's College we are lucky to have two classes of ICT a week, which include subjects such as computer science theory, photographic manipulation and coding. In computer science theory we've covered areas such as software, software uh, components, uh, hardware components, input devices and output devices among many others that we have covered through that field. Our main focus at St. Brendan's College would be apps through Microsoft 365. Uh, apps such as Outlook, PowerPoint and Teams have been very helpful throughout the past three years, especially throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, uh, Teams was used very frequently throughout uh, the lockdown that we had earlier on this year. Uh, using Microsoft Teams, we were able to get assignments from class classes that we've missed and it was very helpful throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. At first we thought Teams would only be used throughout the COVID-19 pandemic but it turned out that we have used it uh, furthermore since we restarted school again. I have also came to the conclusion moving forward going to be uh, very important for other students to adapt to learning online. Here in science class we do lots of cool stuff. The four main categories that we learn about are biology, chemistry, physics and space. My favourite has to be chemistry because we get to do loads of fun experiments and blow stuff up. Biology is where we study all different aspects of living things. We started off by studying the heart and the lungs. We even dissected a sheep's heart in our first couple of weeks here in St. Brendan's. We were able to see all the different compartments of the sheep's heart and how the blood actually flows around inside the heart, which was really cool. Mr. Malloy, our science teacher, also brought in a set of sheep's lungs, which are actually nearly identical to the size of a set of human lungs. We hooked them up to a bicycle pump and pumped out them up and down until they nearly popped. Chemistry is possibly the most fun part of science class. We ended up making the famous elephant's toothpaste in one of our science classes. The reaction ended up so big that the toothpaste came out of the reaction flask and hit the roof. There is still a stain on the roof which according to our teacher will be there for years. We also made crystals from copper sulphate which is really fun as we ended up growing them to be really big. Copper sulphate can also be used to treat sheep who have sore feet. Physics is where we learn about loads of different things like how astronauts sleep in space without constantly banging into things. We learn about the gravity and how it changes when we go to the moon it allows us to spacewalk. We also studied Usain Bolt to see how fast he was travelling when he broke the world record for the 100 metres sprint. We then studied what happened if Usain Bolt was to run the 100 metre race on the moon and see if he could beat his own time. Science class is probably one of my favourite subjects here at St Brendan's. This is because it is really fun. Thank you very much to all of those students and to Mr. Riley for taking the time to record those clips for us. Next we have some students speaking about some of the optional subjects available to you as incoming first years to St. Brendan's College. Some of, uh, of those included include music, metalwork, technical graphics and home economics. Hello, I'm Taylor and I'm a first year metalwork student at St. Brendan's College. In metal work we learn a range of skills such as bench work and which includes marking out filing and cutting. We are taught how to use all the machines such as the lad and the pillar drill in a correct and safe manner which I enjoy. We also learn and create electronic circuits which we use in our projects. There's also the theory side of metal work which we are learning uh, forces and how they impact our everyday lives. What I love about metal work is we get to design 
and you get to design and combine all the skills we have learned into one project we get, which we get to bring home. Hello, my name is Chloe Winters. I'm a Leaving Cert student here in St. Brendan's College. I have studied music since first year and I've really enjoyed it. Since then I've learned how to play the ukulele, the guitar and the piano. And when I got into TY I auditioned for Mamma Mia the Musical. I ended up getting the lead role and that really built my confidence and stage presence. And since then I done music in Leaving Cert as well and I really enjoyed it and I really recommend music. I'm lucky to have the opportunity to study graphics in St. Brendan's College. I remember in first year practicing sketching techniques that helped me communicate my ideas. We then learned key graphic skills using set squares and pencils. We first focused on drawing basic geometric shapes of polygons. Many logos in the world use ellipses and parabola shapes and I enjoy constructing these curves in graphics class. Currently we have just started computer aiding designs. We are lucky in St. Brendan's to have a dedicated computer room for graphics. I really enjoy using the computer to draw up complex, complex shapes. I really like graphics and I would recommend anyone coming to the school to do it. Home ec is a subject that covers most at-home care, whether it is cooking, managing finances, textile care or responsible family living. You learn about your health and well-being and how to improve your mental health. In the first year of home ec, we learned our way around the cooking unit, how to use the equipment provided and how to clean up after ourselves. You will learn many different cooking skills and how to make many different baked goods from brown bread to cookies. We learned about the different types of diets that people have and what foods are good and bad for each of those diets. We also learned about many different diseases that are food related or caused by food. Overall, home ec is a very useful subject to do. During the school year, we learned to do embroidery stitches. Home ec is not just a subject about food, and has been very useful in everyday life. Thank you very much to those students for again taking the time to talk a little bit about their experience with regards to the optional subjects. And just to remind you all that all incoming students will have the opportunity to study all of the optional subjects for the first six weeks before you make your choice this year. On behalf of all the staff in St. Bernard's College, we'd like to thank everyone for taking the time out of their evening to take part in our very first virtual open evening. Our summer camp for incoming first years will take place on Monday and Tuesday, the 23rd and the 24th of August. This summer camp is always a fantastic opportunity for students to meet their new classmates, their teachers and to make some new friends. Open evening and we wish you all a good evening. Thank you.